Hello everyone and welcome back to another an amazing chess game by the legend Harry Nelson Pillsbury. And this is a musty chess game and actually this is one of my favorite chess games by Harry Nelson Pillsbury. I showed this chess game before but I think right now the sound quality is a little bit more better. So I want to show this chess game once again. Uh, let's see what happened in this chess game. So Harry Nelson Pillsbury had the white pieces in this chess game uh, from 1900 and his opponent is a player with no name, an unknown chess player and this was a blindfolded chess game by Pillsbury. So he was blindfolded. Okay, let's see what happened. This was 8 board simul as well. d4, d5, knight to f3, e6, pushing the pawn. And it looks like black is imitating Pillsbury, developing the bishop, knight from b to d7, and Pillsbury castle. So actually this is known as the call system. Pretty solid so far for white. Pushing the pawn b6, so black wants to fianchetto his bishop, knight from b to d2, developing the bishop, and Pillsbury pushed the pawn e4, and in this position he is actually threatening to push the pawn again, forking the bishop and the knight. So d takes on e4, knight takes, and finally developing the bishop, attacking the knight. But in this position actually white can simply capture the bishop with check, and this is a getting rid of the dark square bishop and capturing back and then developing the bishop bishop has a target attacking the deep pawn and in this position i think black played a very weak move capturing the knight with his valuable light square bishop which was well developed so queen takes on f3 and okay so in this position uh, black has some problems and this is a uh, giving Harry Nelson Pillsbury uh, the bishop here and you can see that this is also attacking the deep pawn with the bishop so how to defend maybe moving the knight back comes to mind but that's a very passive move and that is actually probably not even defending because of bishop takes on d6 queen takes on d6 and then capturing the rook and if you defend the pawn with the queen then we can simply capture the rook so this doesn't look very good for black. So this is why we see d5, but then it is white to move. And in this position, Pillsbury played bishop to d6, and black says bye-bye to the castling. Rook over, rook over, attacking the bishop, and bishop goes back. Bishop to a3, and black still can castle. a5. And Pillsbury played c4. Of course, the deep pawn is pinned if you capture, then capturing the rook. Knight to e4. And c takes on d5. Knight to g5, defending. And this is attacking the rook, and the e pawn is pinned. So rook goes back, and Pillsbury captured one more pawn. d takes on e6. Knight takes on e6. And what would you do in this position? Maybe pushing the deep pawn comes to mind. But blindfolded Harry Nelson Pillsbury played an incredible move. Actually, in this position, uh, if I told you that black is getting checkmated by force, would you believe me? Uh, what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Did you see the best move for white? Okay, so did you see rook takes on e6? This is the move, and the only sensible move. F takes on e6, besides blocking with the queen, and now did you see the best move for white? What would you do in this position again? Why did Herina and Pillsbury sacrifice the exchange? Well, he is giving up the exchange because actually in this position he has force checkmate. If you say bishop to g6 or queen to g6, that is correct. This is what happened. Queen 
to G6 by Harry Nelson Pillsbury. And the only move, because of the Dark Square Bishop, and then Pillsbury captured on G6, checkmate. What a fantastic checkmate by Harry Nelson Pillsbury. The Black King is in crossfire, and you see the power of the bishop here. Blindfolded Harry Nelson Pillsbury had a third eye. But his third eye was his photographic memory. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. And I hope to see you next time with more interactive, beautiful chess games. So take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.